All right, well, I've recorded this about a thousand times, one out of a thousand and one. My name's Anthony, also known as Big Dog Daddy Duncan. I'm a Christian conservative, conservative Christian, if you will. have a Bible in one hand and my shotgun in the other, and a country boy can't survive. <laughs> um, it is, the time has come for Christian conservatives or conservative Christians, I, whatever way you want to do it, we need to start getting prepared because the crap's going to hit the fan. Rome wasn't built in a day, um, but it definitely did topple down in, in one. And an ungodly country is a country that will fall. You know, the whole, the whole adage, uh, a house divided will fall, a house united will stand. Well, we're no longer a house united. We're divided. Um, I'm not going to throw blame into, into who did what, who did where. I'm just saying, as a Christian, uh, as a conservative Christian, I'm getting tired and tired of things being shoved down my throat. It's not good enough that I say, okay, whatever you do in the privacy of your own home is what you, know, you do. That's between you and God. It's not good enough anymore. It's got to be crammed down my throat. Until I say, okay, I agree that you're right, or I feel sorry for you, you know. It's, it's, it's crap. I'm tired of it. Um, that's why I'm being prepared. That's why I'm starting to stock up for when the crap hits a fan. I grab my family, all my stuff, you know, my emergency essentials, and go so far up in the mountains that I'm going to be Bigfoot's neighbor. <laughs> there won't be any uh, controversy anymore whether or not there's Bigfoot because I'll be freaking his neighbor and <laughs> we'll be sharing beef jerky. <laughs> uh, this this country, I just, I don't know. I mean, I know how it started. I know why it started. You know, liberal this, liberal that, whatever. Okay, as Rush Limbaugh says, liberal disease. Or liberalism is a mental disease. I'm not going to get into all that. What I started out to do in this video was to give you a quick tutorial about uh, this awesome 12 gauge shotgun that I bought and you know talk to you about how to store food and how to store supplies so when the crap does hit the fan you're good to go um, without further ado I'm going to put my mic down you might have to turn up the volume because when I put this freaking mic down it doesn't like to pick up for some reason so it's really low so here we go Anyways, <clears throat> here's my 12 gauge New England Firearms Partner Pump Shotgun. It's a direct knockoff of the Remington 870. This one is made in China. The, the Remington is made in America. And also the, the Remington is a uh, name brand, so you're also paying for that as well. But this shotgun, let me tell you, kicks complete butt and is very reliable and very dependable. For all your hunting and kick butt needs right here, daggum, you need to get this shotgun. 150 bucks. Okay? You can get it at Wally World for 150 bucks or you can go Sportsman's Warehouse or Dick's or wherever you, wherever you live. You can go to the sporting store. I'm sure you can get this shotgun. New England Firearms. 12 gauge shotgun. It's a great shotgun. Um, also, I'd suggest getting a, a, a decent caliber pistol um, and a rifle and all the ammunition that you can freaking carry. Water, I'd also suggest that. Food, not just talking about just, you know, any type of food. I'm talking about like canned food, uh, freeze dried food. Stuff like that. Beef jerky is great. Um, I'd also get the uh, non-hybrid original seeds for planting. Because, as we all know, even though the hybrids are genetically altered and they, they make them bigger, they don't have a tendency to produce for next season. So, definitely get you know uh, the original 
you know, seeds in the uh, non-hybrid seeds. Um, again, water, 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 um, and a way to purify it and to boil it. Um, definitely, like I said, again, definitely, 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 you got to have some type of gun, some type of weapon, and plenty and plenty of ammo. Okay, because I tell you what, after seeing all these movies, you know, post-apocalyptic movies, hearing all these stories, when the crap hits the fan, what's the what's the number one thing you want to do? Protect yourself and your family in all ways that you can, at all costs, right? So, if you're one of these liberal progressives that are scared to death of a of a weapon, which I'm not. I love my weapon. Okay. This is my rifle. This is my never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna get in a full metal jacket. Anyways, um, let's say you're a liberal and you're progressive and you're completely, completely hate the thought of weapons and everybody should never have weapons, you know, because of course it's the weapons' fault that you know for the shootings is not the person. And the crap hits the fan, and you don't have a weapon, and you're conservative Christian neighbor like me you know has a weapon okay and he has a big family and you don't because you're a hippie you know you don't believe in all that marriage and stuff well because quite frankly you're gay but you have something I need who do you think is going to go hungry and thirsty first the liberal or me? I'll tell you what. Have a gun. Just just have one. It's You're stupid not to. You might as well just hang a sign on your door saying, please, I have things. Please come and take them. I'd love for you to have them. Me, on the other hand, no. See, not only do I have weapons, but you also got to be good at shooting them, too. I was in the Army, military police, and so I can shoot. Trust me, I can shoot. Dare me to try. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll have more videos. Hopefully it will be more mellow and not so po politically ramped. I'm just getting tired of seeing all this crap these days. and I got to rant and rave somewhere, right? And uh, Thanks for watching. See you soon. Godspeed.